Hi, Photo Pillar. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Shadows Calculator of the Planner. You'll find the Shadows information on this panel. These are the shadow ratios of the Sun and the Moon. The ratio indicates the shadow length of an object one meter tall placed in the location of the observer's pin. Therefore, for example, with the actual Sun ratio, the shadow length of an object one meter tall would be 5 meters. Introduce the object's height in this box to calculate the shadow length for the selected date, time, and observer's pin location. For example, if we set an object height of 2 meters, you'll see that all values are recalculated. During daytime, you can play with the shadows cast by the sun. During nighttime, you can do the same with the shadows cast by the moon. To visualize on the map the length and the azimuth of the shadow of an object placed in the location of the observer's pin for the selected date and time, just tap on the shadow button. To hide the shadow line, tap on the shadow button again, like this. Let's see how it works with an example. Let's place the observer's pin in the location of the Washington Monument, an obelisk 169 meters of height, located on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. First of all, let's introduce the height of the obelisk. And tap on the shadow button. This picture represents what we have done. We've placed an observer's pin in the location of the obelisk. And we've introduced its height to visualize on the map its shadow. If we move time, we'll see how the shadow changes. This is very useful, for example, when planning a time lapse if you wish to capture the shadow path. This could even be useful to find out the elevation of the sun when this satellite photo was taken. Just look for the date and time where the shadow length matches the one captured in the photo. Well, that's all, Photopillar. Thanks for watching.